Most of us have heard the saying, you are what you eat. I have a different slant. I say, you become what you study. In other words, be careful what you learn. To become financially secure, a person needs to mind their own business. Your business revolves around your asset column, not your income column. As stated earlier, the number one rule is to know the difference between an asset and a liability, and to buy assets. The rich focus on their asset columns, while everyone else focuses on their income statements. It's the middle class, especially the educated upper income middle class, who pays for the poor. Most people choose not to be rich. For 90% of the population, being rich is too much of a hassle. So they invent sayings that go, I'm not interested in money. I'll never be rich. I don't have to worry. I'm still young. When I make some money, then I'll think about my future. My husband slash wife handles the finances. The problem with those statements is that they rob the person who chooses to think such thoughts of two things, one is time, which is your most precious asset. The second is learning. Having no money should not be an excuse to not learn. But that is a choice we all make daily, the choice of what we do with our time, our money, and what we put in our heads. Broke is temporary. Poor is eternal. Keep expenses low, reduce liabilities, and diligently build a base of solid assets. For young people who have not yet left home, it is important for parents to teach them the difference between an asset and a liability. Get them to start building a solid asset column before they leave home, get married, buy a house, have kids, and get stuck in a risky financial position, clinging to a job, and buying everything on credit. I see so many young couples who get married and trap themselves into a lifestyle that will not let them get out of debt for most of their working years. So dream big daring dreams, and then underachieve a little bit each day. I recommend setting attainable daily goals that, when achieved, provide positive reinforcement to help you stay on the path to the big goal. Expect to be disappointed. Rich Dad often said, only fools expect everything to go the way they want. Expecting to be disappointed does not mean being passive or a defeated loser. Expecting to be disappointed is a way of mentally and emotionally preparing yourself to be ready for surprises that you may not want. By being emotionally prepared, you can be calm and dignified when things do not go your way. When you are calm, you think better. Over the years, I have met many people with great new business ideas. Their excitement lasts about a month, and then disappointment begins to wear them down. Soon their excitement is diminished, and all you hear them say is, that was a good idea, but it didn't work. It's not the idea that didn't work. It was disappointment that worked harder. They allowed their impatience to turn into disappointment, and then they allowed the disappointment to defeat them. Many times this impatience is because they did not receive immediate financial reward. Business owners and investors may wait years to see cash flow from a business or investment, but they go into it with the knowledge that success may take time. They also know that when success is achieved, the financial reward will be well worth the wait. Rich Dad knew that failure would only make him stronger and smarter. Intelligent people can be ignorant if they combine their smarts with arrogance. A truly intelligent person, on the other hand, welcomes new ideas. 
These entrepreneurs don't fear change they embrace it and profit from it.